Another simple tool is follow path. It means you can create an object and create a path and the object follow the path. It's very easy. Okay. Simply create a path and that's it. This is our path. And then we create a simple star. Yeah. With um, this is stroke. And this is our star. And click it. This is our star. And uh, let's try it because uh, the path and the object are in the same layer. And as you can see, the origin of that layer is here. If you select the object, the object, select the object, follow path, and just click and drag. And as you can see, it does not work. <clears throat> because they have to be in a separate. Select this and delete. And as you can see, this is our object that is in this in layer. We create a new vector and call it our pass. So you learn that this is have to be separate again create a simple pass that they have to in a different pass nice then select the uh, what happened then select the object and then follow pass it automatically can select it and as you can see click and drag it's follow the pass depend on the origin of the layer so we can go to the layer and as i said before you can set the origin of that layer for example click it here and now the when you select the layer the origin of layer is this and you can easily follow it along the path with the center you can holding alt and click and drag before that select it holding alt and click and drag holding alt and click and drag uh, it's follow the shape of the curve also. The object is follow the curve. Uh, okay, I insert another layer here for, um, <clears throat> I'll call it, rename, call it arrow. So arrow, we create a simple arrow holding shift to make it this and its layer is there and click the origin for setting the layer here now this is our arrow follow pass and follow this pass if you want to the this object follow the or uh, now you can double click to this. I want this rotate to follow pass. I will be explaining all of its settings, but I don't know why is this there. You can set setting here, but it's there. Rotate to follow pass. Okay. And then follow pass. Click and drag. As you can see, it follow the uh, orientation of the pass, this object. This is an <clears throat> a setting for that. Another thing that you can mention, you can change the percentage of the uh, moving in a position. And then you can uh, animate it if you want here. So you can use this percentage for animating the object that you want to follow a specific path. You can come back to your path and um, select the point that you want and change it then come back to arrow and then again follow the path and again click and drag it or use this slider for changing its position on the path
So the, <clears throat> the inter uh, important thing is that as you can see it changed because it changed its settings. Nice. And you have to uh, design a separate path, an arrow, and the separate object for your the separate object for the path. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.